Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Fire Emblem... Oh, I almost said Fates. Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. Well, you have a second seal. I'll buy a second seal. Oh, come, on in. come on in. Let me just make sure that the audio is good. Everything's good. Good, good. So, yes, let us take that second seal. I guess we can grab a hammer. It's like, uh, we can just have it. Yeah, but before we do things, we have, like... But where'd the other one go? I know you're here. You can just close you. Where are you? You're up here. Because I know to spawn, so give me. Take your time. What do you have? Another second seal. Sure. And you can be gone. But before we actually go up here and fight this dude, we have a lot of shit to go through, because I did grinding to level people up and get affinities up, and we have a lot to go through. Let's listen in. Do you get a boost? Did you find a thing? Ah, you found a thing. Titania's axe. I need to give some of these legendary weapons to people, but I keep forgetting. And... Got some experience. Good for you. This is an odd one. Wanna fight together next time? I bet we make a dangerous duo. Oh, I see. You think I'm too weak and puny to fend for myself. Have it your way. Guess it fits that she was turned away. I was going to ask, how do you pass the time when we're not fighting? The Vike strives for greater perfection, of course. All role models should. these two years and we still haven't gotten anything new in the barracks and what do you f do here the leader must never rest you got some experience which works and now all the supports all the supports well you were just talking so, hey. huh is that you farja what are you doing <sighs> strange i cannot read through the shell that cloaks your mind <laughs> Dragons don't have shells, silly. They have scales and talons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of talons, I need some of your nail clippings. Just a sliver or two from the from the ends will suffice. Huh? Um, what for? <laughs> Manakeet talons are used in dark mage divinations. I want to see what the future holds between me and Neon. Why do you... I am married. Be gone. Oh my gosh, you can tell fortunes? It's amazing. Okay, wait. Oof. Here's a bag of all my toenail clippings. Yes, I saved them. Don't ask why. Long story, slightly glow gross. But if you take these, I get to ask the first fortune deal. Uh, I suppose you want me to find your, first, your true love. Nope. What? No. Don't you dare poke around in my love life. Now I want to find out about my mom and dad. Like where they are, if they are safe and all that. Can you do it? Yes, give me your clippings and I shall begin the preparations. <laughs> Well, aside from the slight freakiness of the start, not terrible. Well, let's see. Oh, how weird are you to Gregor? No. Ah, there is Thaja. Gregor is needing to ask question. It's all right, yes? I'm busy. Good. Ah, you are not me wanting to see busy talking to old man like Gregor. Age has nothing to do with it. I'm just not interested in talking. Oi, little girl of tongue like snake. Very full of evil. Thaja could pretend to not like an old man smell at least. Then Gregor is less insulted. What? You could smell like roses and fresh cut grass. It wouldn't matter. Uh, why are you hating friendly Gregor? Maybe. I said I didn't want to talk to you. So why are you still talking? <laughs> old man like Gregor only hears what he wants. Very useful skill in life, yes? What? Is that true? Huh? Oi, now evil girl is expressing interestedness in Gregor. Because that would explain why my curses never work on you. Oh no! Why are you trying to cast evil hex on poor Gregor? Pretty much. What does it matter? The damn spell didn't work anyways. Mm. <laughs> this is why you are being so rude. Gregor is immune to your witchery. I make you look like, how you say, fool, amateur, that sort of thing. <sighs> Go ahead and mock me, old man. I have my revenge, just you wait. Wait, evil girl! Gregor is still having long list of questions to ask. I am tempted to pair Gregor and Tharsha now, just because it might be the only pairing where she is the one who's in... Like, she won't be able to destroy his soul like everyone else. Uh, what's happening to the sun? 
Everything's growing dark. No. Oi? What? Uh, no! Ancestors, help me! Eh? What is being wrong? Dawn is shaking like dry leaf in wind. The darkness consuming all. It's just a eclipse. Sun is only hiding behind the moon for a small time. It's coming back, Gregor swears. Do not make with the worrying. Truly? Ban oh, yes. has never heard of Eclipse. Yes. I've been hiding for most of my life. There's much I do not know. Hmm. Oi, you must have been poor and lonely girl, yes. Do not offer me pity. I will not accept it. Nonsense. You are funny woman. Say it so to Gregor while cuddling in his strong arms. <sighs> cuddling in your arms? <gasps> ah! When did you grab me, man spawn? I shall eat your heart for this insult. What? Please do not be doing this. Gregor is needing his heart. And if it was you who is jumping into Gregor's arms like frightened rabbit, yes? Hmm. Uh, yes, well, it must have been this eclipse. Uh, it's no problem. Gregor always is mood for friendly cuddle. Why do I get the feeling that Gregor is just like an amazing person all around? Because let's see. Well, let's see what your B is with Long Ku. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to move across the room if that's what you want. Okay, I have better things to do than watch you stand there with your mouth agape. You want me to dispel your fear, right? Can you truly release me from this crippling aversion to your kind? Pretty much. Only if you promise to never refer to women as your kind again. Also, I need to know exactly where this fear comes from. All of it. Wow. Unless I know the true nature of what ails you, I cannot destroy it. Right. And every night I am plagued by a dream. A dream of true events. Of a young girl who lost her life because of me. She was an ordinary village girl who lived on the outskirts of town. We became friends despite the fact that I was an impoverished youth from the slums. In time, she began to steal away from her parents to see me. Love flowered between us, but then... Go on. Uh, I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. One day we went into the fields to picnic and spend time by the river. The bandits were so fast, so many. I fought them with all that I had, but she still, they. I'm sorry, Lanku. From that day, the presence of a woman has filled me with fear. A woman died because of my failings. I would not let it happen again. And though that day is long past, I relive it every night. Interesting. It's not unusual for powerful incidents to grip our hearts for many years after. You aren't cursed by mortal means, Longku. The memory is the curse. Hmm. Can you help me? Pretty much. Perhaps, but it will take time. I must learn about you, this girl, and your youth spent in the slums. If I'm to break the curse, I must know everything there is to know about you. <laughs> if that is what it takes. Interesting. She's being less creepy in that one. So, uh, hey there, Tharja. Catch! What? A fig. And what do you want me to do with this? Um, Just thought you might be hungry. You barely touched your lunch and you're pretty scrawny, yeah? Figured a nice juicy fig might hit the spot. Yeah, yeah. You were spying on me in the mess tent. Huh? Well, I'd hardly call it spying. I mean, it's a public place, right? Anyway, just noticed you were pushing beans with a, around with a fork. Pretty much. Oh, well. All right, then. Very thoughtful of you. Hmm. I actually have a whole bag. I can leave them right here if you... One is enough. Right, got it. Well, I guess I better, um, yeah. Just let me know if you... Just let me know if I can do anything else for you, all right? I am suspicious of this unbidden kindness. Hmm? Sorry, what was that? Well. Nothing, nothing. You know, in my home, it is customary for new friends to exchange locks of hair. I don't believe you. Perhaps you would give me a strand or two from your head? Huh? Well, well, well sure, I guess. I mean, if it's a custom. <laughs> Thank you. You've been most helpful. <laughs> so yeah, like, Long Ku and Gregor are the only people she isn't super weird around. Granted, with Gregor, it's because she can't curse him. Now where did I put that? Looking for something? <sighs> ah! The last person who snuck up on me like that isn't a person anymore. How do you stay so quiet? Is it a spell of some kind? No, um, no not that I know of anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, nice talking to you, quiet man. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a letter to mail. If you say oh, so. I'm here to mail a letter, too. Can I give you a hand? I know how to mail a letter. I just hope the postmen are, are still going to plague you. What? I imagine they would, but it's hard to say for certain. Why plague you? Is that where your family lives? Pretty much. Yes, <laughs> pretty okay. much. I suppose you're worried about them, huh? 
I worry about mine a lot. I come from a family of powerful mages. They can usually take care of themselves, but times like these, well, who knows? A family of spellcasters? Wow, I bet they're safe as houses. I hope so. And that's a sweet interaction, too. Oh, Neon, just the lady I want to see. Oh. Oh, hello, Anna. What can I do for you? Oh. I have a proposition for you. Huh? A proposition? <laughs> yes, just this morning I got my hands on a stock of special skin cream. You just smooth it on and the wear and tear of the battle uh, and travel disappear. Old dry skin replaced by silky smoothness as the hard traveling girl's best friend. And today only I can offer it to you at an insanely low price. Uh, I see, that's very kind, I suppose. But to be honest, I don't use creams and lotions much. They're not really my thing. But a girl's skin is her most important ally. Why, neglecting it is like abandoning a comrade on the battlefield. You're so pretty already, just think what a beauty you'll be with healthy, glowing skin. Mm. Uh, well, if you put it like that, I suppose I could try a little. That's the spirit, and here you go. One tub of Anna's Wonder Cream. Um. Huh, now you've gotten me all excited. I'll have to try it right now. <laughs> Great, you, you do that. Bye. Wait a second. What's this? Oh, cripes, I gave her the wrong one. The stuff I gave her is the experimental formula. It's still being tested on cows. Well, I guess it'll be all right. I mean, flame tree resin is probably safe and effective on skin, right? And since the sale's been made, I couldn't give her money back, right? No, of course not. All sales are final. Then again, you, that was false advertising. I can't believe I've been lied to. A rank of Lissa. Come, Frederick, it's time for your lessons. And don't bother trying to hide this time. You're terrible at it, you know? Ah, uh, there you are. Come on, didn't we have fun last time? Doing what? Wandering about camp, bothering the others for no cause? Or do you mean when we laid in a field, aimlessly staring at clouds for hours? Hey! Both! It's amazing, right? Rejuvenating, life-changing. Well, it was exhausting. In all my years of training and combat, I've never felt so tired. Hmm. A clear indication you need to relax more. You're too in... You're too in shape, Frederick. Oh. Did you seriously not enjoy any of it? No. Well, I can't say it was entirely unenjoyable. The time we spent exploring was a new and valuable experience. <laughs> oh, goody! I'm so happy to hear that. Ah. If you are happy, then I'm happy, milady. Right. Well then, let's get started. Those clouds aren't going to go watch themselves. Shall we then? But we lazed about yesterday. I propose an alternating schedule. Even number days we train, odd number days we... <clears throat> Relax. Ah. Then with Olivia. Really? Might I have a word, my lady? Yes. What is it? Right. I wanted to return to our conversation from the other day. I took it upon myself to ask some fellow soldiers whether they found you attractive, almost to a man. They asserted that you are extremely charming. Many also commented most heartily on some of your other features. Furthermore, most of the respondents are older than you, in some cases very much so. In conclusion, therefore, I think we can safely say that you possess wide appeal. What? Wait, how many people did you ask? Well, let's see. I spoke of all the shepherds, so that would be... Uh, and I also queried those farmers in the last village we passed. Uh, and the beggars at the side of the road. Mustn't forget them, so that means... What? Ah! What? Uh, my lady, are you not pleased by these most favorable results? Well... Frederick, everyone's going to think that I asked you to ask them. Yes. I had not considered that. Oh, gods, I have to leave. I have to run away right now. But wait, my lady, I'm terribly sorry. Please allow me to make amends. Perhaps I could travel with you whenever you go out in public. And then you can simply hide behind my person whenever someone approaches. <sighs> this is the worst day ever. <laughs> Frederick is a weird little man. Right. All right, the coast is clear. Wait, Lissa. <gasps> Act the brother. Hey there, how are things with the war? Listen, where are you going? <laughs> Oh, the weather's just so lovely, so I thought I'd take a little stroll and... Really? It's raining. Huh? Is it? Oh, fiddly-dee. It was sunny just a moment. No. It's been raining for three days. Uh, <laughs> all right, fess up. Where do you keep running off to lately? Me run off? <laughs> You're crazy, Crumb. Stop being crazy. Right. Leona's also been asking about you. About how you knew so much regarding the enemy's formation in that last battle. Please don't tell me you've been scouting all by yourself, Lissa. Uh, so it'd be okay if I didn't tell you? Think again. You fool! What would you have done if they'd caught you? I, I didn't... I don't know. I just knew I had to do something to help. It's my duty as princess to fight and... What? 
And what? To become a high-ranking hostage? To be tortured for information? And gods, are you really still on about this princess stuff? Hey. You wouldn't understand. You don't know what it's like to be your and Imran's little sister. <sighs> Look, if you want a mission so badly, I'll give you one. Go ask everyone in camp how you can be a better princess. Huh? What? Listen to me. It doesn't have to be today, but do it. And yes, that's an order. Oh, for the... All right, fine. Interesting. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hmm? Hello, Sumia. Did you need something? No. Uh, no, Neon is just looking for you. All right, the strategy meeting. Or Neon does love to... Ah! Captain! Crumb, are you all right? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. I just tripped on a pebble. God, how embarrassing. It's because you're so exhausted. You've been working too hard lately. No. I'm fine, Sumia. And besides, we're all tired. Such endless fighting wears on everyone. Prom, you've no need to don a brave face for my sake. You carry twice the burden of anyone. It's only natural you're exhausted. Thank you. <laughs> you're kind to say so. But in truth, everyone looks to their commander for inspiration and strength. An army is only as stalwart as its leader. The instant I show weakness, we're through. It must be so hard for you. Right. I'll be fine. And please, don't speak of this conversation to anyone, all right? <laughs> No, of course not. I would never... <laughs> <laughs> At ease, Sumia. And stop worrying so much. It will take more than a few battles to bring this soldier to his knees. Oh. I know. You're the greatest warrior that I've ever... I just realized something. Hmm? What is it? But... You trusted me with a secret. It's our first secret together. Hmm. Um, yes, I suppose it is. Well... Don't worry. My lips are sealed. Tighter than a bear trap. So long as you promise to take a nap before the strategy meeting. What? What? I'll just tell Neon that you've been delayed. Really? And if I don't agree to your terms? <laughs> then I'll tell everyone the mighty Krom was bested by a mere pebble. Right. That sounds like blackmail. Still, I suppose a short nap couldn't hurt. <sighs> oh, it's so thrilling to be able to help out like this. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams. <sighs> that girl has a strange knack for getting her way. Install and Sully. <sighs> Enough! I yield! <laughs> Oh, come on, you're better than this. Now you're just letting me win. No one lets you win anything, Sully. You take victories by force. <sighs> That's your excuse? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm like. Oh, yeah? You lack confidence because you don't know yourself well enough. Here, shake my hand. Go on, shake the damn thing. Um, all right. Hmm. Well, what do you feel? Tell me how my hand and yours are different. Um... Well, yours is smaller than I would have thought. And really soft. It's kind of nice, actually. Right. You're getting distracted. Focus on the first thing you said. You're bigger than me, and you've got more muscle. Also, you're a better rider. So explain how it is that I keep kicking your arse all over the battlefield. I don't know. I guess you just project this aura. Like you're going to eat me for breakfast, you know? Yeah. All in your head. Change your attitude, and you'll be a better fighter overnight. Wow. You really think so? Hmm. Wait. You're just, now you're just pushing me around in a different way. <laughs> Except that I'm right, and if you're smart, you'll listen to me. And so, what do you say? Another round? Very nice. You're on, and I'm standing my ground this time. And Donnie and Muriel. Hey. Say, Muriel, do you have a minute? Huh? Uh, Muriel? Oh. Hey, Muriel! <laughs> Why, what is it? Why are you shouting? Oh. I tried getting your attention, but you was off in your own world. Yes, when I read, I often immerse myself in it to the exclusion of all else. Huh? Seems like you're always reading, Muriel. Right. I strive to utilize my time effic efficaciously. What free time I have, I spend reading. Huh. I reckon you must have studied a whole bunch by now, huh? Yes. I cannot say whether the breadth of my scholarship constitutes a bunch, but I have studied more than the average person. That much is incontrovertible. Amazing. In that case, I got a favor. I want to ask you for... Muriel, will you teach me? Teach you what? Yeah. I don't know, math and science and all that kind of stuff, I guess. Hold a moment. Why? Hmm. If I learn my subjects now, I'll be able to help my village when the war's done. We got no school back home, so there ain't no one what knows what about book, book learning. I can instruct you in the basic theories of the usual courses. You may, however, find none of it to be of immediate practical use. Well, so long as I know the theory, I can always think up ways to use it. Hmm. Are you literate? Yeah. Oh, go keep Grand to her letters. She taught me how to read all right. Very well. I cannot instruct you beyond the bounds of my own kin, but I'll attempt the basics. 
Well, much obliged then, Muriel. Be forewarned, I am not an easy on my pupils. I wouldn't want you to be. And I do believe that's everyone. Now we also need to decide, like... God, I have so many people. And like, yeah, Maniket and Togwells go beyond level 20, which is interesting. But I think that we have, like, a bunch of people that are, like, ready to be souped up. Just... With basically everybody. So we're gonna have to pick and choose who we want to. <laughs> Through my, like grinding, I did get a few, like, extra Master Seals to random diddly -dees. But first up, we're definitely uh, exploding you into existence. And you can't use a Master Seal. Okay. Maybe Villager is technically an advanced class, and it won't let him advance, I don't know. I guess, well, second seal then. A seasoned war warrior, hero, bow knight, fighter, mercenary, and just go back down to villager. Huh. Interesting. But there's like nobody... <laughs> so everything will get bring him back down to like, yeah, level one, as well as won't let him keep his spears. Interesting. So warrior seems to be a... Bibbidi ba Hero. Hmm. I almost want to do hero. Gives you a seasoned fighter or merc with high skill. Wields swords and axes. Bow knight. A seasoned mounted archer wields swords and bows. Hmm. I wonder what the difference between warrior and bow knight is. Well, I guess warrior is more down the road of like, Strength versus Bow Knight, which probably has, like, other, like, diddly dees. Fighter. A s hmm. Mercenary. Hmm. Interesting. It almost feels like... Yeah, because not only does Donnie have, like, a million classes, Second Seal also allows you to go back down to level one of your current class, which is interesting. But it almost feels like... Maybe that's a villager thing. But capable of great things. Villager. Is it because I got him to, like, level 30 that, like... I don't know, we're allowed to access, like... Because, like, season, season, scrapper... Yeah, because all these season, season, seasoned. So these are advanced classes, right? In fact, let's take a look. If we go back down to villager, it's only 147 rating... Mercenary is 168, 165, while these are all in the 80s. Huh. I don't know which one is, like, super duper good. I'm torn? Hmm. Yeah, because fight... And also, Vike is a fighter. And Gregor is a mercenary. So it definitely feels like these are advanced classes that we can just access with a second seal for some reason. I wonder if it's similar to Maniket's and Togwalls. Hmm. Or I guess if Togwalls and Maniket's are similar to Villagers. Hmm. But I think I might go with Hero. Maybe. Hmm. Warrior. Hmm. I think Hero might be nice because... Hmm. I, I'm gonna go with Hero. He'll go from Village to Hero. It's just thematic. I like it. Will you keep that pot on your head? I'll find it hilarious if you do, but let's see. And we're gonna have to really manage your inventory now. He keeps the pot! <laughs> he keeps it! Utterly amazing. Jesus Christ! 10 increase to skill, 9 to speed. Feels funny, like I'm a whole different fella, and you just keep a pot on your head. But lost the ability for spear, so we're gonna have to really just manage your inventory now. All right. Uh, since you're at E, we're gonna have to give you bronze. And uh, well, first things first, we also have to get rid of all of your lances, which is kind of interesting that like none of them let him keep a lance. And then 
there is no bronze axe. All right, Ben. Well, we'll just have to uh, yeah manage things there. Now, who's next? Who's next on Diddly D? Because because uh, let's see, how many people can we do it that we want to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13! We have 13 people and, like... Unless we want to, like, second seal some people. Hmm. But let's, uh... See about Gregor. Because I like Gregor. Maybe, hmm. Oh, yeah, and also during my grinding, I got a, a rift door. Which apparently can call a merchant. But I don't know, like, what things... Like, what places have good things. Hmm, but who do I want to do with what? There's so many... I guess one thing I could do is, like, save and check out people's things, like... Hmm. I don't know. Because I'm interested in what Virian might become. And we have seven. We almost have... Oh, yeah, and I also found an arm scroll in a... I guess we could use that for Donnie. Hmm. But... Yeah, so we basically uh, have half of the Master Seals that we need. And I don't think that many of these other people are going to be like, Ah, oh, yes, I do not require a Master Seal. So, yeah. I'm interested in what Virian can become. And like I said, we should be able to, like, bow out of using it if we don't want to, right? Yeah. Alright. Well, let's see. He can become a bow knight or a sniper, a seasoned archer with a superior skill who has mastered the bow. So if he just really just wants to go down the... So basically, if you want to multi, like, give him, like, a mobility along with... <laughs> it would be kind of thematic for him to learn how to ride a horse if he's married to Sully. And he would also be able to handle himself in like all situations which might be good but he would also have uh, like weaknesses to people that can do damage to horses and stuff hmm. but since we can just do this I wish that I could just like quickly go through everybody let's see Gregor what I assume you'll probably be in the same area as Donnie right hero and bow knight but we already have a hero in Donnie. Hmm. I don't know. What can you become, Farja? We'll just take a look and see. Use. A dark knight or a sorcerer? Mounted mage who can use... Hmm. But I might just keep you a sorcerer just to, like... And it will open up Nosferatu, too. We'll also uh, store the things here. Let's see. What about Kellum? This is just mostly to see what we can do and then need to decide who to do what. A great knight! So he can basically become like Frederick. Or a general! A seasoned knight or cavalier. Wield swords, lances, and axes. Or a seasoned knight with superior attack defense. I think I might send him down the general route, because then he'll just become even more of a tank. Longku, what can you become? Because you're a Myrmidon. A Swordmaster? Or an Assassin? I'll probably send him down Swordmaster route, so he can just, like, utterly annihilate. Hmm. I'm interested. I'm not going to do it, but I want to look and see. Ah, yes, that's right. You can't Master Seal them. But I wonder, then, what can Second Seal do? into a thief or a wevern rider. Hmm. And apparently a wevern rider is weak to everything. And I guess that I have to get her to like level 30 because we know that you can use second seal to go back down to a level 1 of the same class, so it's possible that we need yeah, we need to get to level 30 and then we can do it. But I just want to check and see. Wevern Rider and Mage. 
Titan, but it takes away their ability to, like, uh, transform, which is, like, the main draw. I think I might just second seal them back down. I have a use for my second seals! Huzzah! A paladin or a great knight? Hmm. Has high move and resist. I think I might make him a paladin. But then what about Sully? What do you become? A paladin or a great knight? Might just... Yeah, I might make her a great knight. And then Sully into the other guy. What about you? It should probably be the same. Right? Like dark mage, thing anything. Yep. Oh, sage and dark knight. So she can be, so because Tharja starts as like a dark mage, she can become a sorcerer. But I wonder how good like Ah, so clerics and mages can become sages. Hmm, but dark knight though might be interesting. And what about you, Rickon? I presume you'll be the same unless they're like, no, you can't become a sage. Nope, you can become a sage. Hmm. Interesting. And what can Vike become? Warrior or hero? I'll probably make you a hero. I mean, a warrior, since we already have a hero. And, uh, I assume assassin will be one of your classes, but what else? Assassin or trickster? I think I'll turn you into an assassin, since we already have a trickster. And Sumia, you'll probably be the same as Cordelia. A falcon knight. A seasoned Pegasus knight on a new mount. Wields lances and staves. Or dark flyer. For tomes and stuff. Hmm. Might make her into a falcon knight, just so that we have, like, variety. Now the question is, who do I want to do these on? Hmm. Like, who do I want to use the most? Like, at least one of my mages. I do want to bring uh, Virion on. At least one of the uh, one of my horsemen. Maybe Lanku. Let's see. Ba ba ba. Because. Decisions, decisions. So much decisions. Guess while well, I'm thinking, I'll also go through and put the bullion into proper places. I need to think who that I want to bring along to do things. Who do I want... Yeah, who I want to do things with. Because there's no real point to bringing, like, a level 20 class when I could bring a class that can level up and gain, like, weapon affinity and stuff. But I guess while I'm here... Hmm... Well, that actually makes me wonder now. If you... Well, nope. I guess uh, I was going to be like her. If you, like, use a second seal to come down to a level one of the same class, do you lose things? I don't think you do. I do not think that you do. Because, like, if we look at me, I leveled up. And, hmm, decision decisions now. Oh, yeah, and you. I, I actually forgot. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, what can you become? A troubadour. A Valkyrie or a War Cleric? We'll probably make you a Valkyrie. It's basically Mounted Sage, but still. Hmm. I have no real, like, um, no, I just need to decide. I feel like we should do it for Tharja, especially because we still need to find you a husband that you can't kill. We will turn you into a Sorcerer. Because we have so many other options for Dark Knights, but I'm... And plus, Sorcerer allows you to use Nosferatu, for some reason. So yeah, you can become... Wait. You're already a sor... Wait, no, I'm dumb. You're a Dark Mage. 
You can become a sorcerer. I am a dumb. I am a fool. We'll make you a sorcerer. <laughs> that way you can use your dark magic. What does your outfit look like? Is it any different? Is it like a dark sage? It feels like you have more clothing now, which amuses me. Hell yeah. These new powers give me some wicked ideas. Love the, lo like, the advancement music. Now let's see. Who else? I say Virian. Now the question is, what do I want to turn you into? Again, Sniper would be super cool because it's like a continuation. But Bow Knight just feels like it, it, it would fit well because it's like he's married to Sully. So it's almost like, oh, he goes and like does stuff. It's just like very funny. It's just like he married Sully, so he got into horses. don't know. I do not know. It's just like, because I feel like Sniper would really go all in, but he would also be able to use swords, but he'd have to level up the swords, whereas this is like, m keep him doing the super duper awesome with the bow. Meh. Ba 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. I think that I shall make him a sniper. Again, it would be super, like, in character for this Virion to, like, become a mounted archer, but I feel like sniper feels more fitting for the man. I just feel it's slightly more fitting. I've spent 30 minutes just waffling about what classes anybody should be. And now you look super awesome. Increases all your stuff. Before I got looks, but now I am the look. All right. And I feel like I should also do Gregor because I like Gregor. I like him. I'll bring him along. And because we already have a hero, but... Hmm. I, we already have a hero, but at the same time, like, having a bow for bonus damage against, like, other, like, mounted enemies might be good. And I don't know. Hmm. I'm just trying to think very hard. I do not know. I do not know. Because, again... <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Because, like, with the classes that I have, like, there aren't any, like, secret classes that I'm missing out on, am I? That would be terrible. But just, like, it feels like it feels like Hero would fit him so well. Hmm. Stat-wise, it doesn't really seem to change too much. I'm just It just feels like, even though we already have Donnie, but at the same time, class-wise, Hero versus... Like, Hero versus... Like, Bow Knight, like, or like, Hero Ver, like, cause my brain is good, bit bad. But basically, it just feels like I should. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just make him a hero. Because it doesn't really feel that terrible. And maybe we can pair Donnie up with him while Donnie's learning to actually use weapons as a hero.
Gregor can try to learn axes. Well, Donnie tries to learn swords. We'll definitely have to go and buy up a bunch of, like, bronze axes if there are them. Haha, <laughs> Gregor feel like a new and younger man. But I guess while the thought is there, can we buy... Bring up the shop. Let's buy some bronze axes. What can I fix you with? We have the money for it. I should have done a money run. Wait, I actually have a bunch of stuff that I can sell. I have a shit ton of bullion. It's not the greatest, but it's some. That's funny. I guess because it's grindable, they don't want you to be able to sell it. That amuses me. I really should use some of these, like, items. I have a bunch of uh, Seraph Roads, Image Jobs. I really should use them. All right, now, Gregor, you can have a bronze axe. Donald, you can have a bronze axe. Now I need to decide uh, who else I want to make, because we have four more. We can make Kellum. Maybe leave Maribel, because we don't really use her. Because let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's far too many. I feel like turning Muriel into a Dark Knight, one of you guys, into something else. So yeah, I think that's what it'll be. Because we already have, like, people to, like, get in people's faces and fight them. Sorry, Vike. Uh, but also Sumia and Gaius. I think Gaius, because it said that he could become an assassin, I could use a bow, right? There's Trickster. We already have Trickster, but Assassin, though, which can use bows. We will turn uh, a seasoned and deadly thief or Myrmidon. I say we upgrade you to an assassin. Now you can kill people for candy instead of just stealing it. <laughs> just, just knives on wrists. He is Shredder now. I'll wear any pockets as long as you line them. And now we'll give you a bow. We need a bronze bow. God damn it. Is there anything we can give you? We can give you a glass bow. Yeah, now I have to go buy some. I was just thinking about it. It was just like, oh, I don't need any bronze bows. Now I do need bronze bows. I might as well just... Here, Gaius, Gaius, we're just going to deposit them right into your inventory. All right. All right, now we should have three left. Three left, which basically means to me, Muriel, Sully, Kellum. Ah, but... Hmm. Maybe leave out, because we haven't really been using the mages a lot, and they get targeted. All right. At least Sully. We'll do one for Sully. And she can become a great knight or a paladin. Hmm. She can either... I wonder what the difference is between great knight and paladin. Hmm. I don't know. Because it feels like great knight... Hmm. Because great knight is super strong. I don't know. Hmm. Bibbledy, 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 ba. Just trying to think. Because Great Knight allows her to use lances, axes, and swords. Rather than just, like... Just trying to think. I do not know. I'm trying to think. I 
think I'll go with Paladin. I think Paladin just might be nice. And plus, we already have Frederick as a great knight, so it'll be neat to go down a path not super traveled just yet. Kind of disappointed her horse isn't also in red armor. Ready to smash heads. Is that still my job? It'd be hilarious if you, like, reclassed her to be a cleric. You're like, sorry, you can't do that. Now we need to decide. Definitely Long Ku, at least. We want to use him more. We shall use you. And we already have an assassin, so I'm going to make him a sword master. Plus, I think it just fits him. He's a Myrmidon dude. He's a warrior. He's not really an assassin to me. Then it would be hilarious if I accidentally picked the wrong thing. Hell yeah, look at that armor. He has multiple swords. He's like Zoro. Hell yeah. Mike could get used to this. I love it. Now we have one Master Seal left, and I think we'll use it... Is Dancer like an advanced class? What even is your skill? Luck. <laughs> Grants luck plus four. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, because the only ones left are Sumia, Rickon, Vike, Maribel, Muriel... Kellum. I think Kellum, because he's our only super armored guy. So, Master Seal. I could second seal the others, maybe. But let's see. General or Great Knight? I say General. I think General, because it just fits his vibes. It fits his vibes. Become Master of Gods. The Unseen General. Booyah. Fear his power. Fear his strength. Does this class make me stand out more? And he can use axes, so you also get a bronze axe. Very well. Bronze axe for you. In that case, we'll also... Uh... I don't know. I believe you... Eh, you can just stay like that. And again, we we could take a see, look, see what second ceiling people could look like. He can become a barbarian, a fighter, or a thief. We don't want to make him a thief because then he loses all his expertise. And I, I, then we could just like grind them back up because we have seven second seals, and the only people that we would like, because if we presume correctly, at level thirty, these two can be second sealed. Then we have five second seals that we can really use, which is one, two, three, four. I guess so. Might as well. That way, if we do use them, the only and it probably wouldn't be that terrible because, like, let's see, does it like knock them down any? No, it doesn't really. Knock him down. He's already a fighter, right? Yeah, he's already a fighter, so I guess we could send him down the road of Barbarian. Sure. Let's make him into a Barbarian. He's already kind of a brute anyway. Why do I like the lighting on the second seal more? It fits you, Vike. Now you don't have a weird thing about... <laughs> He loses skill and defense, but oh well. Watch Teach take you through the motions. And Despoil! Neat. What is Despoil? Get a Bullion if the unit's target falls. Trigger Luck stat. Interesting. And what can you become through second ceiling, my dude? He can become a Cavalier. Or just remake him a Mage. What's your base? Basically, sending you back to level 1 is basically just new game plus in a class. We're not going to use Rickon that much. I might wait until we get a second seal. 
or a master seal. What about you, Stahl? What can you become? He can archer or myrmidon. Hmm. I guess I could just set him back down cavalier and we can use him a bit as a grinding post. I'm trying to think. With second ceiling, could you also get, like, skills and stuff? Because I presume that Vantage is a Myrmidon skill. And then what was the other one that he Stahl could become beyond Cavalier again? An Archer. Does Virion... Virion didn't really have a skill. to get Presience, I guess. When the unit initiates an attack. I don't know, like, hmm. if I could know that Stahl would keep his A rank sword and spear skills if I sent him down the archer path just to make him back into a cavalier, maybe? And what about you? What can you become? I honestly don't think I will. You can become a Pegasus Knight. Or a mage. Again, it would be nice because then we could, like, make you... I wonder, though. I forgot what you... Hmm. Ah. Or any leveled advanced class. I think I might... Because these, like, these three are, like, the, the... Well, four. What can you become? I'm probably, sorry I forgot about you. My mind is running. Knight... <laughs> The thought makes me giggle. But I don't think you really get all that much. And again, we don't really use you and we want to wait. And we have to wait. Yeah, because all you get is indoor fighter as a knight. And uh, as a cleric, you get heal touch. So, yeah, I think I'll just let these four. Because one, two, three, four. Yeah. I'll leave these four undone. Damn it. I should, again, I hope Dancer is a silly day. But uh, we also need to, like, pair characters up. I think we'll see what Gregor and Tharja are like. And then we'll pair uh, Olivia with Long Ku in the future to see how they go. Because I want to see what their personalities are like when they clash. And now we'll check out some of these new doodly dees, maybe. See how things go. Alright, select units. Trom and I can be gone. Same thing with Lissa. Long Ku can go in. Let's see who else do we want to bring in. Guess we can see what Varian Sniper is like. Guess we can keep you in. Let's see. And I guess we can bring Donal in. Let's see how things go. View maps. We can pair characters together. Uh, we'll obviously swap you. Swap you. Or actually, there. Now these two that will be moving forward can do stuff. This will work, I'd say. Let us save and go into battle. Almost an hour in, and it's our first battle. Because we did class management, I guess. I probably should have paired them differently, but oh well. Let's see. I guess we'll come up here. What are you grinning about? Did someone tell you a funny joke? Not at all. It's just nice to be noticed. We'll have them together and... Yeah, sure. And then we can probably swap characters around a bit. Oh, yeah. I forgot I have this on for grinding purposes. Grinding purposes and making sure things good. 
You're gonna die, you fool. Because we need to let Varian level up more. Everyone level up more. And we can just annihilate you. And then they can attack whoever. Oh, they're smart. Potentially. They are potentially smart. We can come down here, smite at you. Or, hmm. Let's see. Well, yeah, let's just smite you of Gregor. We could level up the axe, though. Actually, you know what? Since we're not in super grind mode, I'm going to turn back on the animation so we can actually see these models in action. Smite this man. And plus, it changes the music, which is cool. How well do you die? Fair finally with her glowing eyes. First things first. Yeah, let's yeah, let's just try just level up your stuff. <laughs> the potted helmet man. Hell yeah, Donnie! Oh, I can move things around. Neat. I forget if I knew that or not. I'm going to shoot you with a bow. Hell yeah. I'm liking this. Maybe now we can take on, like, some of the other DLCs. You fool. Good job, Olivia. Who dies next? Advanced classes are awesome. Good job, Nowie. Hmm. Yeah, let's just smite this guy. Hmm. Yeah, it's just it's a fucking 206 rating. Love it. Smite this man with an axe. I love this. My lord. That ought to take care of the Rizm. Yeah, now we shall maybe see. Let's see, is there a... Because there is Lost Bloodlines, which seems to be... Uh, seemingly like the sequel to Champions of Yore, because it's like two... Because like, whereas Champions of Yore is like, according to the IGN, like, guide, they're like, ah, Champions of Yore 1 is a one-star difficulty, then 2 is a one-star difficulty, then 3 is a two-star difficulty. Lost Bloodlines is two-star, two-star, three-star. Granted, they also say that the Golden Gaff is a one-star, I guess because it's not a possibility of you dying. And then I guess we could also check out the Exponential Growth, which seems to be the experience version of the Golden Gaff, which we could check out, even though it's a two-star experience thing. We'll see how the Lost Bloodlines acts then. Let's see. Lost Bloodlines. Xenolog. Lost Bloodlines 1. 
Ah, you've returned! Haba? Does this mean we're headed to one of the worlds you spoke of? An outrealm torn by warring Einherjar that have minds and wills of their own? Yes. Indeed it does, but good news! You'll have allies! I fooled one of the opposing sides into thinking they summoned you. <laughs> Told them I foresaw it. Then played up my age to throw off any suspicious. <laughs> hmm. Sounds familiar. So we're going to be treated like the Ironheart Jar. Oh, support activated. Okay. Yeah. Crash. Hmm. Another failure. Oh, that's too bad. Olivia, have you been watching me? Oh, sorry. I hope I wasn't intruding. It's just that Con Boss Leo used to practice that same move. Right. It is a trick that I've yet to master. But one day I shall. When Boss Leo slices the water jar open, not a drop is spilled. Wow. I know. It's crazy, huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're both from Con Boss Leo's side. Somehow he slices through it so cleanly that the flask doesn't shatter. <laughs> I have power, accuracy, speed. What am I lacking? Not that I'm an expert, but I don't think power has anything to do with it. When Basileo does it, he barely even swings his blade. You have observed him this closely. Uh, well, er, uh, yes, I suppose so. Then watch me as I attempt the trick again. Tell me if you see what I do wrong. But please, do not stand so close to me. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. I kind of like that. I like that they both come from, like, the same place. He's gone, Varian. I is he then? Oh, that's a relief. My apologies for the bother. To think that poor fool would trudge all this way for a mere handful of coins. Ah. One would need hands of freakish size indeed to cradle that much gold. Pray tell, how does a fellow even begin to create such a vast amount of debt? <sighs> My dear sir, there are a thousand ways. Uh, preferably all accomplished at once. <laughs> I'll ask no more. Besides, there's another matter I'm more curious about. Indeed. Before he left, the man offered to finance our efforts here. I declined. Yes, yes. yes probably for the best. Explain. This doesn't strike you as odd. I just saw a man track down his debtor only to offer his companions additional coin. In what world is that not madness? No, it I... seems perfectly logical to me. Should something untoward happen before I repay him, the debt dies with me. It's well within his interest to ensure I survive this bloody mess. You racked up a debt so large it ties his welfare to yours? I have not the capacity I have not the capacity to determine if such actions are genius or madness. You're cunning fit to shame a fox, Varian. <laughs> if you flatter me, sir. Do go on. Really? Mark my words, Fox, if your skulking about ever comes to be a burden on Crom. Yes, yes, you'll have my skin for a stall. I'm well aware. I happen to be fond of my skin, so I give my word no ill shall come for my deeds. Please. Keep your word, and you'll keep your skin. <laughs> Amusing. All right. First things first, view the map. Uh, okay, there's a place up here. Some allies down here. Some King Marf. Harden? Why does he look like a vampire? Norn. Kadria. Malice. A mysterious traveler from the Outrealms. Oh, I forgot. How fucking big is this place? All right, well, cigar, we... How fucking big is this place? So many dudes. There's another village down there. So we're up in this corner. And there's two... But this guy's actually going to start marching towards us. <laughs> hmm. Trying to think. Well, first things first, I also need to decide who I want to bring with us. I guess I'll come so I can level up as well. Let's see. Olivia and Lanku, Tharja and Gregor. Hmm. What is Sully's movement now? Then I think I'll take Frederick out and put Sully in. Or actually, hmm. Then we can put Frederick back in. Decisions, decisions. And we'll pair characters off differently so they can try and level up. Yes, I do believe that's what we'll do. This seems like a good spread of characters. View the map. Yeah. 
Darn, he's just far enough away, so I guess Sully will have to take that honor to get there in one turn and back again while everyone else charges down Hmm. Yeah, charges down here to, like, face a bunch of people as our allies probably go and die. But luckily, I don't think we need to worry... What are these skills? Rightful King increases trigger rate of unit skills. Luna, uh, have enemy defense and resistance. Aegis, have bow, tome, dragonstone damage. Hmm. Vengeance and uh, Pavis. Interesting. All right, but we don't have to worry about much. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll pair off with Frederick. You, you. Hmm. Then who will go with you? I guess Anna can go with you. Just trying to place characters that will, like, move forward at the front. So, like, Gregor can be placed there. I guess uh, Donnie can go with Sully. And I think this... Yeah, this should work good. Placement is important. Fight! Sigurd, Leaf has sent a messenger. He's managed to splinter the enemy. Splendid, Quan. I would expect no less from any son of yours. We should attack now, while their ranks are thin. Agreed. Send a messenger to Silif. Bid him march from the castle and bring all of our might down on the Arcanians. We'll crush them from both sides. Lord Silif, I have a message from your lord father. Let's have it, Fee. He asked you to part the castle and attack the enemy at once. Right then. Ready the men. Oh, and our alley's down there. We've been decimated. Lord Horus, we don't have much time before the ju uh... Jugdrali finish us off. Damn, we're vastly outnumbered. Indeed we are, but I have a plan. Tell me, Katarina, quickly. I've summoned aid from another world. They should appear near King Mark's party at any moment. We must hold out. Really? Two mighty armies set against each other. Yeah. And one of them believes they summoned us. But which one? I suppose a few moments of battle ought to sort that out quickly enough. <laughs> Indeed. Let's go. I wonder if I have to talk to them. And yeah, we'll activate that. First things first is we'll send Sully up here to grab this. Never mind, I need to pair up and then move. Visit. What do you make of this, eh? I found it near me house, but I'm starting to fear it's some terrible dark artifact. Was it? You'll take it off my hands? Ah, oh, many thanks. Off with you, then. The silver axe. Neat. See, uh, you can go there. You can go there. I forgot I was going to send Anna with him. I'll go with Frederick. You can go with the dragon. Well, let's see. You can go there. I love the music that's playing. Now, let's see. Our allies are down here. So, yeah, we should probably come this way. Well, some of us should. Frederick can go this way and follow them. Along with this team. Everyone else will go down this way. Leif, an unknown force has appeared to the northeast. They just appeared out of the ether? They cannot be of this world. And if we didn't summon them, they must be with the enemy. We should go on the offensive and assist Lord Sigurd and Selif. You don't agree? It's just something feels odd about all this. 
Can you even remember how this battle began? Why we're fighting here? Those despicable Arcanians started it, uh, didn't they? I believe so. You need to clear your mind of doubt. Hesitation could cost you your life. You're right. Oh, did that motherfucker went over the water? Really? Oh, that's not good. King Marth, they've arrived there to the northeast. Katarina's otherworldly army, eh? Now we can finally strike back. Let's move. It's time to set this land free. Look at the trade blows of your elders. You may dislike the result. Good job. Yeah, go Malice, you look cool. Vengeance! This guy's creepy. Uh, no respect for your elders. You picked a very poor fight. Something is awry. I know I must fight. I know I must, but... You are going to die. They will return stronger. Quit killing yourselves on him. There was no point in me going after them. They were all gonna die anyway. Our adversaries were stronger than I imagined. I must retreat. If only she were here to offer her guidance. Why did you attack him? You're all safe. You could have just stayed away. We were both fated to fight here, but I'm fated to win. No, you were not. So ends my role here. Aside from their army to the... Quit attacking him, you will die. Congratulations, you survived a single turn. Uncongratulations, you've gone to die. My mother is a Fianna. I will not bow to you today. And you've gone to die as well. My allies are stupid. You are double dead. Oh, that was a woman. I'm sorry. Oh, is he? Yeah, it's, it's just... It, for some reason, it's the hair. The hair made me think, ah, it's a guy. And it's hard to tell with anime sometimes. Congratulations, Marita. You did a better job convincing me than Marth did. Forgive me, King Marth. I must retreat. Hmm. Let's see. So some of them would be able to get there. I think first things first, we shall. Hmm. is likely to die. Well, that's not good at all. Let's see, if we came here and blasted with magic, apparently this is far more than a second level. Hmm. Oh, he would just kill her. Okay. And my thought is come here and attack from afar. Maybe with a super bow. Because we will be attacked. Let's use a super bow while we're here. Yield, warrior, for we cannot! 
Yeah, I am a I'm fun ball, but I'm going to kill you. That will lower the possibility of her getting attack off. Smite this. Goodbye. I concede victory. You fight as well as any I have known. Acceptable. Hmm. If I came down here, swapped and blasted with magic, maybe? Hmm. But then that would put her in danger a little bit. I think I'll come grab this just so we can. Oi, why is junk lying around? It literally is junk. I'll give him that. Well, shit. Uh, blast of. Who the fuck are you? Who is this man? Swap. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're gonna hang back a bit. And then Sully can come riding in as well. Yeah, you, you were never gonna survive down there. I feel like Leaf is gonna be a nightmare to kill. Just like the big burly man. Ah, oh, these wounds. But I'm not ready to join my wife just yet. Lower your weapon and yield. Please dodge, Norn. Please dodge. Thank you. Ah, oh, fuck, it's... Another wonky face mage! No one will ever manipulate me again. I decide my own future. Please, Mitch. Please, Miss Gregor. Thank God. Gregor is being beset by mages. You want to fight me? I hope you weren't expecting to win. Gregor is mistaking life choices. If blood must be spilt, at least you're going to get smacked a little bit. Good job. Norn is dodging like a master. Please. What the? Oh. I thought it was like, you can't crit, but it looks like it's going to die. Goodbye, Malice. Uh, what a damn joke. There'll be no gold in this. Ha! You think you have a chance against me? You're all just bodies to be laid in a row! Please crit him to death. Depart in silence, you will be spared. No? Then accept your end. I'm not going to go anywhere in silence. Haha, <laughs> you are a fool! Oh shit. There's a way to end this conflict. You leave this land here and now. I don't think that I believe you. Damn it! Virion is just being assaulted by all, uh, all sides. Please dodge, Virion, for the love of God. Thank God. Now nobody should be able to attack him, because he's surrounded on all goddamn sides. What is little darling like you prancing around Battlefield for? Go home before Gregor run out of good intendings. I fight for a cause and probably with more skill than you. But by all means, feel free to prove me wrong. Gregor will then. 
You have done nothing to Gregor. Well, thank God that the only text to land on Gregor did no damage. You bitch. Good job, Harden. Wish you targeted the big man. Seriously, is he a vampire? Who has the right of this battle? I no longer know. Will you annihilate this man? No, you will be annihilated. You did a lot of damage, though. So maybe Leaf will die down there. Please kill this motherfucker. <laughs> you scare me. We should have brought a healer. If only to heal Marth. I cannot fight with these wounds. Must get to safety. Kill him, please. Ah, you killed him! Good job! Good job, Legion! Perhaps it's better this way. Please do a lot of damage to that bitch. Motherfucker. Well, first things first, we should probably do something about all the shit that's going on here. No, don't... Why can't I... Just, I guess I just select attack, and then I can select whoever. We can kill that guy. Kill her and probably risk things. Let's see. There's too many motherfuckers in this battlefield, man. What if we swapped him? But then the problem is, then she'd be a, a prime target. But really, what we should probably do is come over here and kill Yuki so you stop healing people. Let's see, if we swapped... She would be in prime real estate for death. I say let's get rid of you. Hmm. Well, the mages are... I, you, I think I'm, you're scary. So let's attack you. If neither of us will yield, then one of us must fall. And I think that it will be you, because I am all the way over here. Goodbye. How could you best me? Face me again. I must know. Hmm. Because again, it's that motherfucker. Yeah, we're just gonna get you out of the way. No healing. Leave me here now! Leave here now! You do not belong in this world! Yay. <laughs> Yay, danger. I lost, but if I managed to buy them time... So many scary motherfuckers on this field, man. Like, she has a 7% chance to hit if we get her, but she does a lot of damage if she does hit. So honestly, let's get her out of the way. I don't want her to get lucky. That's too much damage to be left on this table. 
I chose to fight. I regret nothing. Oh, we can talk. I guess it wouldn't hurt to go talking. So you're the otherworldly force Katarina mentioned? Yeah. Yes, sire. You see the lay of the Latin field. I would welcome any counsel you give. Huh? Are you certain? Why would I not be? Um, We're strangers. How do you know you can trust us? I just do. But more importantly, I trust Katarina, the one who summoned you here. I see. You place such faith in your subordinates. They are lucky. Any good leader must trust his comrades. A leader is made by his comrades. Never forget that. I won't. Thank you, sire. My counsel is yours to use as you see fit. Then you have my thanks as well. Could leaven sword him. I think I'll use my leaven sword. Thank you. He's scary and I want him dead. Damn it. He is a scary motherfucker who takes no fucking damage. Why does he take no damage? Can you kill him? You could. Yeah, kill this guy. He's scary. I like it. You fucker. Luckily, it only happened once. Uh, time to go. I cannot die here. This motherfucker's a scary man. There's, like, no way to change it. Could now he kill you without... Yeah, now he could, so... We'll send now he here and blast you from afar. Get out of here. What a disgraceful defeat. But I will return stronger. Booyah. And now for everyone to be utterly bullied down here. I think Gregor's gonna die. As the enemy summoned you to ravage our land, I'll not allow it. Gregor does not want this. Fuck. Please do not crit. Thank God, but Gregor's probably going to die next turn. Oh, sons of bitch. He's bad. Gregor's finely honed instincts become dull with age. And also bullying. Well, goodbye, Tharja. You missed an 85%, goddammit. Very rude. That hurts. I've got to pull back, but I won't forget this insult. Please, miss. No one defies me and lives. No one! Please, miss. That would be very kind of you. Ha-ha! <laughs> you too would be kind to miss. Please? Oh, you chose not to miss. Oh. And it cut through his defense, yeah, because it's Luna. Such bullshit. It would be tawdry to fight like this. Well, at least it doesn't do that much damage if it hits. And it missed anyway. Rex Calibur, continue this foolish opposition and you will suffer at the hands of my magic. And suffer we did, apparently. Will all of you stop bullying me? All of you are bullies. For the love of God, please, miss. I'll keep fighting as long as I believe in a brighter future. If you are kind, you will miss. You are very unkind.
All because they have just a bullshit army full of fuck nuts. At least I drew them over slightly so they can be attacked. Please hit. Thank you. At least the game is slightly kind. Let's see, what else can we see? What if we fought you hand to hand? Not go well. We could bulldoze him down slightly. But what if we came here and I went Marth? Would be a very dangerous fight, so we should probably get this guy off the field. Please hit. All their low percentages hit me. Thank you. Let's see, I could attack him. What if I swapped? The possibility of him killing me? is highly likely, unless I hit first. I have a 99% chance, let's go. If you miss, I will be very upset -y with you. The Arcanians are as strong as the books say. Stay vigilant, father. Guess I could run away. Who scares me the most? Sed, Arthur, Ulster. Apparently, Julius is horrifying. Ares. So, yeah, I'm gonna. Dr hmm. I'll draw Longku away. Goodbye, you're gonna die. A double vengeance? Ares is a monster. Ah, you're gonna die. Missed the second one, at least. This is very mean. Why do they have just, like, such monsters on their side? And why is it such a big boost of difficulty from the last one, I wonder? This is just absurd. Thank God you missed. Now get struck back by multiple attacks. Hopefully Legion and the others will just go on a decimation spree. Who are you? And why have you come to this land? I couldn't even give Legion his mask. That's in his art. Are we doomed to fight this war forever? Yeah, probably. Goodbye, Horus. What an adversary. I cannot fight any longer. And now Legion is just going to be picked apart. And get crit to death. Which is very mean. At least you've chosen death. You've chosen double death, apparently. Why couldn't that crit come against Julius? Alright. Please miss. You bastard. 
They're picking me apart one by one. But at least I leveled up. Maybe I can hide behind Marth and just use Naoi. Alright, he won't do much damage, and he's chosen death as well. Thank you, Naoi. I wish you and I had met his allies. You only say that because you got your ass kicked. You jerk. Get in my way, love, and you'll soon be lain by the wayside. They all hit their low- Oh, fuck off, game. We are entering XCOM territory. And now you die. Goodbye. Because he would never miss his 93%. <laughs> we may have lost these battles, but battles come in numbers. Are you dead? We live unless he crits. Very rude, all of you. Oh, no, we might die here. Nope, we have a little bit more chance to survive. Jesus fucking Christ. At least allies can strike down some of these people. Thank you. You win. I accept it. Yeah, please, strike them down one by one. That's one of the scarier ones, so thank you. Thank you, Marth. Actual Marth. Your world has the better fighters. I admit it. Hilarious, because she's complimenting... us. Let's see, if we swapped, we can't dance. Came down here. I could blast him with something. Let's see. Oh, Ares has ranged? Wait, no, it's because it's being that. Smack this man down just a little bit. Block it, hell yeah. Then we'll come here. Oh, no. I'm done. And blast you from afar. Get out of here, Julius. A fine retort! You will die when we next meet. And we still have a whole army to go after this. Sure, you might feel like you can take on a whole army. Let's see. Take my steel sword. Because it only restores 10 HP, darn. And I wasted my turn on that. Convoy, though! I can take an elixir and fully restore my HP. Glug glug, bitches. Fight me now! Never mind, it's gonna kill Marth. Hopefully we don't need him to finish this. I over over overestimated my own skills, and now I must retreat. May our comrades from afar find a way to bring this land peace. Die. Forgive me, Lord Leaf. I was not ready. They just went back to their 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 part. Now 
Let's see. First things first, we should probably blast you from afar if we can. Just deal with some extra damage. Then we'll send Sully after you with a sword. Ah, get a crit. He won't kill him, but it'll hurt. But now this will kill him. Goodbye. Are all your kind such titans on the battlefield? And are all of you guys such assholes on the battlefield? Grab whatever here. Excuse Please, me. I'd like to have this. You're all so gallant and brave, you even look like heroes. Got the hair and everything. Got an armor slayer. I guess I'll draw them out one by one. If we can. That's the best way to probably do it, really. Do a backflip. Yeah. And now I'm going to crit you to death. Woohoo. How did you dent my armor? Because you're ugly. You shall not win so long as I hold a weapon. It is a silver lance, so it is scary. Bastard. Now I'm gonna crit you to death. Get 33. Asshole move. Yeah, throw a spear at his face. I think so long as we have Harden, we have a chance. I'm gonna blast you a fire. Forgive me, Lord Sigurd. I can stand my ground no longer. Oh, I learned Ignis as a skill. What's Ignis? Add half magic or strike to other value. Neat. Honestly, I think it's best to let him come at us. For my husband, my brother, and my children, I must stand my ground. I don't even know who the fuck I am. I'm Harden. Motherfucker, I'm dead. The Jogdrali fight well, but I will not lose to them again. Son of a bitch. I shall blast you from afar. Yeah, we'll supercharge the lad. Let's see. Who is next to probably come and attack us? A bunch of mages. Well, actually, none of these people are out to get us, so... The next person up that should probably be there is me. So I guess, yeah, we'll just keep leveling the sword. I'm sorry, Quan. I should have been stronger. Yeah, and, uh... I shall... Can't act to assess the convoy anymore. Oh well. And I don't want to use that. Hmm. So I think we'll just end our turn. Okay, 
I think the best way to handle this would be, let's see. Which has the greatest might of all my weapons? My Leaven Sword. I'll have Krom stand by my side. Hopefully get us through this. Get blasted by lightning! Yeah, with Krom by our side, we'll have extra damage. <laughs> what skill! I must stand down while I still have strength. While I still have hope of returning to my love. And now they'll come one by one. As one by one. Get crit, bitch. Why do you keep fighting? It will gang you. Nothing. You're the one that got blasted, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. You have crossed between realms only to meet your own death. Grovel before the greatest magic any world has ever known! At least I'll be able to get blasted. Bitch. I'm gonna have to use my elixir. My level ups have been paltry. Hmm. Let's see. Nobody else can really access it, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to drink another elixir. Hmm. Okay, what I should probably do is blast him with Naoi. Balgonon. And then blast him with a mighty knight. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Fool. Die. It shames me to lose to phantoms like you from another world. Why are you all so fucking scary? Because who would be next? All of them. So yeah, we need to end. Alright, once again, Mark will take point. As my Leaven Sword is awaiting. You missed. Get Ignis. And crit. Jesus. Are all otherworldly warriors this powerful? Now nah, I just got this skill. Yeah, luckily he's just a normal guy. Doesn't really matter where, hmm, but. Actually, it kind of does matter where we stand, because he can attack us from any range. So yeah, the best way to do it would be this. Get blocked, fool! And of course you're gonna heal him like a bitch. Oh, you're a triple bitch. You need to die. Now. In the name of House Nordion, I will prevail! Don't 
In the name of fuck off and die. Fuck off and die. We fought, but my elder brother will always be the greater warrior. Have I killed him yet? I think I've killed him. Aw, oh, shit. Uh... Let's see. I think I've made a mistake. What if I actually... No, not convoy. Swapped. It would bring... Because the problem is we also have to deal with this fucker. Go for a crit. Let's go for a crit. I better get a fucking crit. Annihilate this twink. I know when I am outmatched, I must withdraw. My strength comes from diligence. Yeah, because the main thing is, I'm fairly certain that the if Krom dies, we all lose stipulation is still in place. That's only 11 damage. Does he have no range? So if I really wanted to... We could cheese this, potentially. I'm gonna try and cheese this. Let's cheese this man. Leave swiftly your answer to me for your crimes. I'm just gonna cheese the fuck out of you. Cause you have terrible range. I'm just gonna cheese the fuck out of you, cause fuck off! So he can't counterattack. He can just initiate with spear. Cause he didn't have it equipped! That's probably why. I'm just gonna cheese the fuck out of you, and all your little petal blossoms. I can boast no longer. You have proven the greater fighter. And all the Einher Jar were dead. The land has been decimated. All the knights and kings are gone. Jesus. Right. This battle is won. For now? No. Hmm? Yeah. Hubba said the Einher Jar cannot be vanquished with a single victory. <sighs> and we may have more trials to face here. Mm. It would seem so. Are you ready? Shall we head back for now? Krum. Wait, Krom, look at this. One of the men said he found it here. An Einher Jar card? What's it say? Hmm. Sage Lord Leaf. The hero of Thracia? We should... We could use a warrior like that. We'll have you along, but I will never use you. I yield. You are the greater warriors. If it please you, allow me to join my strength to your own. My name is Life. Perhaps you have heard of me. I have not. I am the rightful prince of Leon's... Leonster, a castle on the continent of Jugdraw. But my lord, father, and mother are dead, and Leonster itself annihilated. Now I fight with my comrades to set the world to rights. So, Neon, was it? That mark on your hand. Is that the brand? In my world, the brand is the mark of a great bloodline. Long ago, twelve exalted warriors used the power of the gods to save the world. Their heirs are born with the brand and the right to wield their sacred weapons. I myself lack the brand, though my elder sister inherited it. I don't know the significance of yours, but you must bear godlike powers. I don't think so. Oh, then I am mistaken. 
Then where do your town spring from, if not the brand? I had two tacticians of my own, but you will easily surpass either of them. Tell me how you do it. Were you entirely self-taught? I have no gift for strategy, but I do like to understand people. I see. You've experienced much that is proof of a life lived fully. Thank you, Neon. I'm glad we have met. You make me realize both how far I have come and how far I must yet go, and that perhaps I won't need a god's help to get there. Let me join you on your journey that we might grow together. Sure. I turn, never turn away a comrade. Well, that was a harsh battle. I wonder if, like, in the normal way, if, like, you actually lose people in the DLC fights. Rah! I yield! I yield the mercy! She's just like one of them knights out of the stories Ma used to tell. I'm jealous something fierce. Hey. I'm not like a knight, Kit. I am a knight. Huh? Uh, you heard me then, did you? <laughs> Half the camp hears your every thought. You're not exactly subtle. But begging your pardon, sir, ma'am. I didn't mean nothing by it. So, uh, do you think maybe you could tell me what being a knight's like? Mm -hmm. As long as you promise to stop calling me sir, ma'am. What are you asking, anyway? Thinking of becoming a knight? Huh? Oh, gosh, no. It's just that knights and such is the stuff of a legend to me. Ain't never seen one back on the farm, and now here you are, and, well, I reckon I'm curious is all. Curious to see how close I am to your storybook version? I ain't trying to impose on you. If it's a big old hassle, just say so. That's fine. Come come find me at dinner. We can talk there. Thank you, Sir Ma er, Sully. That's mighty kind of you. And then... Ah, now we and me. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> Ouch! Sorry. Oh, sorry, Neon. Are you alright? <sighs> you mean apart from this lump on my head? What is this you threw at me? Listen. That shiny rock that happens to be my most precious tre treasured possession. It took ages to find. Huh? If it's so precious, why are you tossing it around? I was trying to hit that big snake. Did you see it? It slithered away real fast. Yeah. So you're hunting game with a rock. Oh. Exactly. I almost got him, too. Oh, look. There it is again. See? Right. Here, let me try. Huh? You think you can hit it? Whoa. Casting magic hurly stones. It's all about focus and control. And you have, and you have to lead your target like this. Whoa. Oh, wowzers. Nailed it right on the head. That was great. <laughs> Well, I have my moments. So How did you do it? You've got to show me. Yeah. All right. First of all, you want to grip the stone like this. Okay. okay. <laughs> Adorable. All right. We just need to manage inventory slightly. Our last battle did not go well. Take that silver axe from ya. I guess I'll put the elixir away. Note to self, DLC gets fucking hard. But I think with all of that, we're now gonna head to chapter 12. And actually see what this is all about. Yep, chapter 12, Port Ferox. Begin! The sea comers, not the cucumbers. Oh, we're just here. All right, Valmese. They have beast killer. There's just a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Master seal. Now the question is, who do I want to give that to? A second seal. Jesus fucking Christ. There's a silver sword on that boat. Dalton with large bullion. And he's gonna come fuck our day. Luckily, we did a lot. Elixir. There's lots. Hmm. Alright, so I feel like we should all charge this way to try and... Hmm, try and lure enemies out. But how... What units shall we bring? I think we'll push these guys away. We'll bring... We gotta pair everybody up properly. Let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll keep Gregor and da da da. Let's see, who else do we want to try and bring? I guess we could take Frederick out and put another pair in, like uh, Callum and Cordelia. I can bring them in so they can help each other. All right, now on to the map. Let's see, we shall swap. And I think this is good. All right, let's save and begin the war for this port. Listen. You dare board our ship, worm. I will not discuss terms of a peasant. I will issue demands to all. Citizens, soldiers, hear my words. The conqueror himself, Emperor Walhart, claims dominion over these lands. You will grant your new emperor your ships. You will grant him all your provender. You will grant him your loyalty and your every possession. And you will surrender this land's greatest treasure, the Fire Emblem. Do this and your lives will be spared. Resist and your lives are forfeit. Now kneel and swear fealty to the mighty Valmy's empire. But if you take all that we have, how we're going to make our living. Without food and ships, people will starve. Will you have us all die? You'll do for now. Ah! <laughs> These savages will never listen to reason. Everyone, prepare to engage. My lord. My lord, are you certain? Another war. I've had a time to ponder Ulysses' place in the world, Frederick, and my own. We must stand against evil in all its forms, or there can be no peace. If I may. Might I join, sire? This might not be my country, but it is my cause. My dear Minerva were hu uh, here hungers for a bite of the action as well. All right, let's pair everyone up. Uh, you and Gregor. Does mean that Cherch is left alone without pair. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, but it's mainly the cavalry we need to worry about. So you're the closest, so we'll just do that so that we know to stay out of this range. And create a nice just everything. Hmm, but you're weak to but you also have beast killer. Hmm. We'll let him take over so that can at least do things, and we'll give him his steel lance. You've chosen a bad place. I think my units might be decently equipped for this. It's just I don't want to be caught out after th that DLC. Better. I probably should have taken off Killing Edge. But 69 crit. Die. They can fight one after another and die. Basically, Killing Edge Krom is perpetual crits. 
Except for that one. How dare you make me wrong. Yes, please, keep fighting Krom and die. Time for revenge. Goodbye. Yes, please, keep going. Give me that master seal of yours. If it's not one crit, it's another. Goodbye. Ta-da! My strength comes from diligence. And getting master seals. that's playing. Strike this man down. Then we'll come here, swap, and I'll blast you with some thunder. I forgot to take off the goddamn killer edge. Nope, that's not what I want. Yeah, just use the normal. Then again, I could use just place it on the armor slayer just so that it's constant bonus damage. Get crit. Guess while we can, we might as well strike down the t <laughs> the tailors here. Much gratefulness. Strike him down. He might have the beast killer, but you are greater than any beast. Get blasted. Hmm. She'll go with you. Hmm. I feel like this team should be fine up there, so we'll also come this way. No javelin throwing this way. Nah, it won't. Everything will be fine. Lunku is a god. I also like the rocking of the boat in that animation background. Yes, keep feeding Lunku. He feeds on your nightmares. I'll send him all the way up and give him that armor slayer. Strike this man dead. Get crit, bitch. I suppose 
you tried. Gregor here to kill you. And we'll swap and blast you from here. Kills for everybody. Seriously, how can the Valmies continue after seeing an army like this? Don't they see that they are outclassed in every way? Hammer this man. Yeah, sure. Fight her. She'll annihilate you. And we also have our own Weavern Rider, which is cool. Yes, feed Longku. Feed him your soul. Feed him! Feed him! You keep trying and you just keep failing. And you just keep getting crit. This is hilarious. They keep going after him. It's amazing, it's just like how this became a breather after that one DLC. Well, that's very rude. Ah, now they're marching forward. Hmm. Guess we'll, hmm. We'll send him up so we can grab this. What did I just step on? You got a stick. I'll just... I'll have uh, Krom smite you with Falcon. Be gone. And got a second seal. Let's see. I'll send Naui in first to blast this guy. <laughs> Waddle on in, little Donnie. Send her in to blast this guy with some fire. Get crit. Annihilation for your soul. And we'll send her in to annihilate the horseman. Get drop kicked. The Togwell must live. Togwell. And go ahead. Mm. Interesting. Oh, because he's an archer. Ah. Uh, how far away can. The problem is that that kind of makes him a threat. Because it would do bonus damage. Jesus, he... There is no escape. So, yeah, you have to run. Bonus damage would come for you. 
a 4% chance at 2 damage. If that hit, I would have been angry. Get smited for the armor you wear. Huzzah. You have a 29% chance to do no damage. I could send her in to smite this guy with a hammer. Get her some piece of the spotlight. Since the other way is danger for her right now. Here, last you with fire. And you miss, fool. Imagine getting hit by a fireball and being like, I'm gonna fight back now. Who in their right minds would do that? And we'll smack you Togwell style. AKA Sonic the Hedgehog style. It's been a bit so Donnie. Beat this man to death. You're being beaten to death by basic bitch weapons. So, fuck, they're all dead. Yeah, I'll just select you. Oh, he could come at us from wherever. It's been a bit, so we should let the boy get some action in. Thank you for sacrificing your life to the Donnie Food Fund, where you become the food. Goodbye, dear sir. You got yeehawed. <laughs> Cease your existence. You got killed by a man with a pot on his head. Might have javelins, but you're not getting through Kellum's powerful, powerful powers. You have a silver lance. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Be annihilated. Double be annihilated. The general has your face, and he will punch it again. And got a silver sword. He will send that away. We'll go ahead and blast this guy. You couldn't even damage a lowly sorcerer. Be gone. And we'll go ahead and guard them. Let's see. Guess we'll smack you just because we can. Good job, Olivia. Thanks. And Olivia's power has leveled up. 
So. Well, it seems like only one person has a chance to hurt her, so we shall place her there. And you can stay. Congratulations, now you die. It's <laughs> crits for days. You fool! Now you will die a horrible death! She did minimal damage. Now get smacked. Well, first things first, I want you to grab this. Me weaving horrible, awful hexes? Oh, those were just practice curses. Honest. Strike this man down. So hard, even his horse goes flying. Yeah, and we'll just wait for him to come to us even more. That way it'll be the general guy all in his lonesome. Because I guess we'll just gather everybody up so that we can super duper just close line the boss man. However, the more we'll just keep attacking you since Armor Slayer doesn't work on these guys, even though they're in full armor. I guess they're not armored enough for the Armor Slayer. Am I not armory enough for your armor slayer? Yeah, keep on coming. Sacrifice yourselves. You're doing one damage to Chash. You have come to do nothing, AI. Oh, now he's on the move. Guess we pissed him off. Well, in that case, we'll smite this man with our chairs. A level up for chairs. I'd say I've made a bit of progress. Let's see. We'll just blast you some dragon power. Congratulations. You cannot hunt dragons. Now die. Is there anything on your boat that I care about? Probably just a dead person. And we'll just swap because we can. And now... How about I kill you? You are nothing! A speck of sand on the boot of a great empire! Yeah, you deserve this. Get crit. You don't even have a long spear. What? How? Oh yeah, the, for some reason this reminds me. Before we continue, I have to just note some story things that I realized. One, we're like 12 chapters in and the Risen have not been explained once. The Risen are just there. 
They came out of a big portal in the sky. Marth, aka Lucina, came out of a big portal in the sky. And nobody questioned anything. Ever. Not once. Nobody's thought to say anything. Like, huh, I wonder where the fu- We also need to level up his spear. I forgot that he could use spears now. But, yeah, the Risen came out. And, like, from the portal, and it's just like, those are weird monsters. And then it's, like, mentioned in that one level that came, like, right after. Oh, the Risen have come this far. But after that, the Risen are just, like, not mentioned until Gangrel has a Versa summon some Risen. And we haven't seen a Versa in a while, so I can only imagine that a Versa went to the Valm continent... And, like, is now working with the Valmy's Emperor Conqueror Man, Walhart. So that's the most that I can think. And then there's, like, Valandar, or whatever his name is, who's working with Grima. That's all over the place. That seagull is flying sideways. Krom, is that all of them? Yes. Yes, but victories come with a price. The town is in shambles. As is my army. Right. This is most troubling news. Feroxy soldiers are the finest east of the Long Sea. If they are having trouble, we are all in trouble. That's not the half of it. This is just the vanguard, but a taste of the meal yet to come. Oh, great. Man, once it arrives, their host will wash over the whole continent in weeks. There's no way we could repel them and defend our people. It would be a slaughter. Elise is no better equipped to handle an attack from the sea. Neon, what do you suggest? Hmm. Their greatest strength is, ca is their cavalry, which puts us at a disadvantage on land. But if we were to catch them at sea... But how? Elise has no warships, nor does the Ferox. All right. So we'd need aid from a kingdom that does. What? You have some place in mind, Oaf? Hold on. Perhaps a little land that borders the sea with enough wealth to afford this campaign. Oh. Plagia. What? No, absolutely not out of the question. Right. They have gold, boy, countless ships. And more importantly, we have a fart's chance in the wind without them. <laughs> the oaf is right, crude but right. There's only one path forward. Hey. Krom, will you reconsider? Right. Very well. Send a messenger and request a summon immediately. Let us pray this new king is more reasonable than their last. Right. I mean, he should care unless he wants... Because the Valm, the Valmy's empire are not gonna be like, Oh, I'm the Plagian king. Would you like to team up with me? No, we're just gonna kill you and take your land. Oh my. <coughs> you know, Neon, for your first time against Valmy's forces, that was an impressive victory. You and Krom have both grown quite adept. You should be proud. Have we even begun... To know where we came from? I don't think we have. We woke up in a field with a premonition, that's it. My lord, My lord we have word from Plegia. They have agreed to meet with us at their outpost on Carrion Island. A poor venue, should things go sour, as the island's name makes plain. But then I don't see we have much of a choice. Right. Cautious as ever, Frederick the Wary. Don't worry, we'll get our ships. This threat hangs over all of us. Plaguey as well. They must see that. There, my throat. <laughs> my shop? Two shops have opened. We can be the... Yes, 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 yes. They sell dragon stone, they sell beast stone, they sell master seals. Unless that is like a one-time master seal in which, ow. But let's go to the barracks. A single event has occurred. Studies have shown ambitious ambition nourishes even the most logical minds. Do you dream? I want to be a big hairy barbarian. <laughs> Laugh, would you? It's a joke. It seems more books were added to our armory and what seems to be like uh, bags of flour. But support! Farjan Gregor. Oi! Why is evil girl still not talking? Gregor is nice guy. Laugh like ball of jelly. What now? 
I should inflict a permanent silence curse on you, old man. Ho oh, ho! Evil girl spells not work on Gregor! Are you remembering this? I have never been this angry in my entire life. You should forget with all the anger and the making of clenched fists. Gregor only want to chat, make the small speech, yes? Pretty much. You want to be friends with me? Then prove your loyalty. Give me nail clippings and a lock of hair so I can cast a spell that sticks. If Gregor agrees to your unholy terms, you must answer question, yes? Most times Gregor only wants to know if evil girl have dinner plans, but not today. You get one question. Oh, this is too bad. Gregor have long list, but he will narrow down. Does evil girl know magic spell that can, how you say, bring back dead? <laughs> Seriously, that's your question? It's almost as bad as can you make me immortal, ugh. So then you cannot do this. No, Gregor, I can't. No one can. Now, if you want to talk to the dead, that's something I could maybe arrange. Is for truly? Oh, yes, that would be more than enough. Please, you must help Gregor talk to dead person. It's not easy, you know. It takes a lot of work and a lot of preparation. Please, you must do this. Gregor gives you soul in exchange, yes? Yeah. Really, now? Yes. Cross Gregor's heart and hope to die. <laughs> well, if you're that desperate, maybe I can do something. Then Gregor is being always in your debt. Darn it, Gregor, I wanted you to have control over her, not the other way around. Yeah! Trash. Damnation. Again I fail. The flask shatters under the blow every time. Um... Hey, Long Ku, perhaps you should take a break. Dinner's almost over. Get back. Stay, woman. No one, not one step closer. Sorry. Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to. Wait, do I make you nervous? No. Anyway, I'm not hungry. You may give me my portion to someone else. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. You need to keep your energy up. Although I guess if anyone can skip meals, it's you. Vasilio did say he never knew anyone of more self-discipline. What? Vasilio said this to you directly? Yes. Well, yeah, he talks about you all the time, actually. Always saying you're a genius of the blade and his true rival and blah, blah, blah. He talks about you to anyone within earshot. We're all bored of it, honestly. <sighs> I did not know a Basilio felt thus. <laughs> he looked pleased. But what? <coughs> no, not at all. I care not what he thinks of me. Perhaps I will eat after all. Excuse me. <laughs> he can't fool me. That stern facade of his always is completely fell away. He is blushing like a tomato. I am liking their their interactions. All right. First things first. Just uh, double check that. We'll go in, sell some stuff. First things first, sell our big bullion. And now we can just buy whatever. Because I can do some grinding. Well, first things first, I should probably see how many I need right now. Actually. We need one, two, three, four. We need four. Then four is what we will buy, and extras if we can. Unless, again, the game is mean, it's only a singular. Please? We can buy as many as we want. Huzzah. And we'll buy extra stones. Hell yeah. Then the next thing... Sumia. You shall be activated... I bought one extra Master Seal than I needed. Dang it. I'm a fool. Then again, with the money grinding, we can just do it whenever. I think we will make you a Falcon Knight, so that, like, we have, like, uh, just overall extra stuff to it. That way we have versatility! Like, maybe we could put, like, a rescue on you. And I can just do stuff. I'll give him my best shot. Alright, next is Muriel, who I think we will make into a Dark Knight. I just think it fits her. It's amusing to me.
Hell yeah. All those stats. What a fascinating way to acquire new trades. And now you can use swords. Hell yeah. Next is Rickon, who will always be with her in actual battle. So we will make him a sage, I believe. Just so we can level him up. He can get stat bonuses. He barely looks any different. Like, slightly more extravagant. <laughs> this officially makes me a grown-up! Well, hopefully. Or else we'll have to arrest... I... I forgot that you exist, Maribel. I am terribly sorry. Well, I guess we got the amount we needed after all. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we got one uh, that we grabbed. We'll make you a Valkyrie. We grabbed one in the field. We didn't buy an extra one. I'm a fool. It worked out perfectly then. But it's so cool that we can buy second seals, even though, I guess, well, master seals. Granted, I think at this point, second seals might become more valuable to me. Look at me, classier than ever. And now you can use magic. And now stall. What do we make you? Hmm. Like, maybe a great knight? But that's what, like, Frederick is. But we haven't seen a paladin in action too much. So I don't know, like, what is, like, better. Because... Hmm. Like, huh. Question, 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 question. Wonder what best, like, thing for you would be. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. I guess I guess we could go Great Knight just because we have Sully as Paladin. But we don't know what, like, skills Paladins get, because we know, like, uh, Great Knights get, like, Luna, and I guess Luna's cool. Yeah, we'll make you a Great Knight. We have a paladin. It'll be neat to see. Zoo, zoo, zoo. Class change. And now we can level up his axe. He lost one speed, though. All right, back to square one. Not exactly. I believe that's everyone. Now, everybody should be, well, aside from these two, but they don't really have much to worry about. Take your staff. I'll take that second seal. You can have that elixir on you. I'll take that shock stick. Hmm. Hmm. What's this skill? Tantivy. I forgot to actually read it. I'm a fool. Grants hit a void plus 10 when there are no allies within three spaces. Huh. But all right then. Next we will go and check out the spontaneous spawners. Arc Thunder and Silver Weaponry. Damn it, I should have gone grinding. Silver Sword, Arc Thunder. Luckily, we don't have to worry about buying Master Seals from Wandering Merchants anymore. We have Silver Lances for days, so we'll grab that Silver Sword, though. And maybe that Arc Thunder. Silver Sword, Arc Thunder. And just for giggles, we shall now go... And fight these guys. Because we can. West of Lillistol. Now let's see, who do we want to bring in? We will take you guys away. Longku and Olivia will continue leveling up. Hmm, I 
guess Gregor and Tharja can continue. Da, 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 da. Trying to think. be good for Cherish. Because let's see. Because if we're pairing Gregor up with Tharja to level S, Olivia with Long-Q, I think really the only person that's left is Vike. I think everyone else is taken. Krom, Gregor's going, Long-Q is going, Donald's taken. Libra's taken, Kellum's taken, Frederick, Virian, Stahl, Rickon, Gaius, everyone is taken except Vike. So you get the short end of the stick, Cher. I'm terribly sorry. I guess we could also throw in, like, other people that we want to level up. But who do we want to level up more? I guess it's been a bit. Let's throw Gaius and Lissa in there as a pair. All right, view map. should work. Everywhere is a fight. And there's uh, two of the ladies, so I guess we could fly you around, but everything should be good, yes. Then we shall fight. Activate. bring around because I highly doubt that they'll actually be of tangible threat to us. Right I could, uh, it's hard to tell sometimes when I should have like them wielding a sword or not. Gregor dodges. Now Gregor kills. Huzzah. <laughs> Gregor's biceps tingling. Strike this guy down with a crit to boot. I do find it kind of funny that it feels like crits happen a lot at lower percentages, whereas actual hits, like, don't. Well, we could do that, but I'm thinking of yeah, just using a bow. I'll kill you from range. Get crit. Get assassinated. Hmm. And we'll swap just if we can. We'll just use a steel axe to break this guy's face. Got a speed wing. I really should throw, send out a bunch of the stat ups since I just have them in hoarding. Wow, a zero 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 percent chance on everything. If he hit that, I would have been angry.
Let's go up and smack you, because I can. I'm leveling up their relationship. Right, get crit. Since I'm not afraid of any of you, I'll just go up here and wait. We all need dreams to sustain us. What are yours? Well, nothing really. The Vike is already master of all. I guess we can blast you with some fire. Because, like, finding a good, like, relationship with Tharja is going to be difficult. Especially if, it, especially if she's extra mean to poor old Gregor. Guess I can move these guys away and just, like, be on the run for a little bit. Send them up here. They can grab that, and then hopefully that guy will come fight them. Underdog bow. And eh, you can just come down here and kill this guy. Goodbye. Are you done? No damage. And now you can just go kill him. Unless you miss. Don't miss. Huzzah. Stage a complota. My lord. Then again, maybe the Risen are just here story-wise to justify everything. Ah, no supports for that, eh? Hmm. Well, we've been going for almost three hours, mostly dedicated to classing up everybody, having my ass beat in a DLC, and then doing the story. <laughs> and hilariously, after like, oh, well, I need to grind out a bunch of master seals through like wandering merchants to class my people up. Next mission, ah, you can buy master seals now. I am LeFou. But, yes. Hmm. I do believe that that will be it for now. Again, we've been going for almost three hours. I'm really loving this game. I'm really loving this game. And But the longer I go on, the more and more baffled I am at the Krom female Robin romance. It's like, why? Everybody else gets, like, nice, heartwarming things. Crom and Robin, it's a fucking cringe-worthy romantic comedy. Why'd you do this? But, yeah, I'm still having fun. The story's interesting. I wonder what the Plagian king that took over after Gangrel will be like. Wonder if my theory is true and Aversa went to Valm to kick up the Conqueror. Again, want to know exactly what the Risen are, what the dark mage guy that we killed way way back in like what chapter five or something seven all those all that time ago and yet he was saved by grima apparently i want to know what's going on with us the the avatar robin like where did we come from are we from the future as well somehow but it couldn't who knows, because, like, we woke up in a field after a print. Well, presumably our character, un like, remembers that premonition as well. And we just, like, never talked about it. It's like, oh, hey, Krom, I remember this, like, premonition thing of you and I fighting this, like, dark wizard. And uh, we killed him, but he shot off the last thing. I uh, blocked it for you. Then the dark magic made me kill you. It's like, what even? We never brought that up. We never told anyone. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, cause, uh, but Lef was 
said something interesting in his little recruitment card, Einherjar Jar speech, about like bloodlines giving brands of power. When yeah, our hand has like some kind of mark, and the royal f exalt family bloodline also gives marks apparently because Imarin had one, Krom has one on his shoulder, Lucina has one in her eye. I uh, just that that's kind of interesting that they actually bring that up. Hmm. But yes, I will do more grinding primarily to pump up like diddly diddly diddly, I guess Vike and Cherish so that they can go out onto the battlefield together and Gregor and Tharja, Olivia and Lanku. And to really speed things up, maybe what I could do is, since I record these, I could just grind, get the, like, diddly dees, record my reaction to them, and then just edit them in uh, the next l actual long thing. So that way, reaction is there, but it doesn't slow us down all that much. Because then I... But at the same time, that kind of... Hmm, but I don't know. It's like, because I want to grind it so that, like, then I can, like, start pairing characters off more freely. And then only when it's like a, oh, this is a very big, dangerous battle, we should uh, pair up all the characters if they're strongest partners kind of thing. Just kind of speed things along, take my worry off things, allow me to grind more freely. But either way, yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope if you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel called Neon Icy Wings. I swear content is coming. And uh, there you can find reviews, countdowns, essays, just scripted content that I want to make. Then there is my recorded and not really edited gameplay channel and live stream channel, Neon Icy Games where you can catch me playing games live, as well as upload the streams and other gaming content there, so you can see me play the Mass Effect trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, or maybe even catch me live finishing off the uh, Ace Attorney trilogy, if I haven't beaten it by the time that this gets uploaded. <laughs> but if you prefer to watch me play games live through Twitch, you can also find my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. Other such things that I do is art, like my little character in the corner, and if you like that, you can catch me posting art to various sites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, Inkblot, all the different sites, and uh, links to them can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. Other links, and my link tree as well, can be found as a link in various link places, bios and descriptions that you can click on to make that a bit more easier to find all the rest of the things that I do. And uh, also in my link tree is my writing resources where I post my various stories if that interests you, as well as my Patreon if people want to be generous and throw me a dollary do in the evils of the world to fight them back a bit, because the world is going insane. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.